Here are five top tips for the automatic 1111 web interface for generating AI art. Tip number one, never forget a prompt. If you go over to settings and tick these two boxes here, save text information and create a text file, then apply. Then whenever you create your new AI art, you'll be able to get that prompt exactly back again. There, if I click generate, you can see I now have a text file that has got all the information. And also if I go to the PNG info tab and I just drag the image in, you will see the parameters there ready for you to produce again. Tip number two, see images as they generate. If you go over to the settings tab and down here on the right hand side under user interface, if you change the show image creation progress, there we go. I'll drag that up to five and click apply. Now, when you generate an image, you will see it slowly generate before your eyes. Tip number three, alternating prompts. This is a fairly new feature. And basically you put things in square brackets, put the pipe in between them. I'll just turn this sampling steps up a little bit so you can see them going on there. And now it will alternate between a cat, a dog and a rabbit. You'll just about be able to see them. There's the rabbit, there's the cat. Might get a little bit of dog in there, but basically it's a way of mixing all these three prompts together. So now you get a picture of a cat dog rabbit. Tip number four, the high res fix. Often when you generate an image, you'll get multiple heads like you have here. It's got a rabbit head there and another rabbit head there. But if you tick the high res fix box and then click generate, you will get a slightly different image, which is hopefully a lot more coherent. And there we've only got the single cat, dog, rabbit. Looks much better, doesn't it? Tip number five, prompts from a file or text box. If you scroll right down to the bottom where it says script and then select prompts from file or text box, you'll have two different options there. If you click there, you can upload your file with all your different prompts. Or if you click the show text box, then you can type multiple prompts in there. For example, here, I'm just gonna throw in two different prompts. And then when I generate, it will first generate my fantasy art style painting of a cat, dog, rabbit. And then it will do a fantasy art style painting of a fish bird. So then I get the two different things that allows you to do many, many different things all in one go, ideal for overnight rendering. Now, if you want to learn even more Nerdy Road and Geekery, then I suggest you click on one of these two links.